So I'm Mark Swan, councilman here in town. Um, thank you all for coming. Uh, the strategic planning here is very important. It's going to help us decide how we're moving forward, help us prioritize some decisions as we move forward. Uh, we really appreciate you taking time out to come and, and help us shape our strategic vision going forward for the town. Um, thank you very much for coming out. We also have um, excellent staff, uh, town manager here, Bill Summers, and um, he will get you started in the rest of the real instruction. Thank you, Mark. Thank all of you for taking time out of your schedule to come here. Um, it's important. Nightdale's growing. We know that we are one of the fastest growing communities in North Carolina. We know that we've got a good quality of life, but we also know that over 60 people a day move into Wake County and that our community changes almost on a daily basis. So as we grow, all the nice things we have, we got to begin to think more long range and more strategically. So what we have done is the council has directed me and the staff, we need to have better forward thought into meeting our future needs. So. We've brought in a consultant. I'm going to introduce Fountain Works in just a second. They're going to lead you through this exercise. I would encourage you to just relax. The only thing that is required for you to be a part of this exercise is have an interest in Nightdale's future. So we want to know what you think. In our world, the most difficult group sometimes to have regular communication with is our citizenry, which is unfortunate because our citizens really guide the town. So sometimes we find ourselves in a place where we think we're making the best decisions for you, but really, it's a wonderful opportunity when our citizens come forward and they participate in processes like this. I will tell you that this is not just a paper pushing opportunity. This is something that will strategically guide the way the council values and, and makes decisions on opportunities that come before them. So what we do here pays long range dividends into what our community or what our community is going to look like. So I want to welcome you again. Um, we've got a couple staff members here in the room. Myself, Alex Rodriguez is here to help as well. Councilor Mark Swan, who just introduced himself. And then we have Julie and Tara, who are our consultants here from Fountain Works. I'm going to turn it over to Julie and she's going to lead you through tonight's exercises. And once again, we really, really appreciate everybody's time and commitment to be here. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you. Um, we, we, you guys are amazing. Look how many of you are out here to participate in your community. So many that we're pulling a few more chairs out and are going to ask you all to squeeze in a little um, so we can fit some more people at each table. Um, so I'm going to just <laughs> let Alex uh, <laughs> help us do that real quick. I'll also ask, is there anyone, Alex is a, a Spanish tra translator, does anyone need Spanish translation? Hay alguien que no habla inglés. Okay. Okay, we've got, this table made some room up here, so we'll bring some chairs up. And there's a, a couple of seats up there and a few more people trickling in. All right, thank you so much for accommodating everyone. So while, while we're trying to fit everyone, and I see a couple more people coming in, there's a sign-in sheet at every table. We'd encourage you to sign in, not required, but if you want to get updates about the Nightdale strategic planning process, um, they will be using this to provide you with updates. Um, uh, hopefully every, we caught everyone and you all put a green dot on the map. We're trying to get a sense of the distribution of where you all live throughout town. Uh, there are restrooms right outside the door. There are snacks here. Um, so we'll, we'll be busy the whole two hours. If you need to take a break and use the restroom, if you need a snack, feel free to do it. I'd encourage you all, if you haven't already, to put your cell phones on vibrate so that they're not um, disturbing folks. We're gonna be having some small group conversations and some big group conversations. We're also recording this to be posted later on Facebook. Um, so when, when you're talking, uh, I'm going to try and get you to use the microphone to speak. 
And if you really don't want to be on Facebook, just keep your back to the camera and <laughs> let someone else at, at your table talk. <laughs> um, so there's two screens. I'm going to run through a couple of um, opening slides. We tested this. There you go. So um, we're going to. Uh, you've, my name again is Julie, and this is Tara and Alex, and the three of us will be um, mostly helping you all throughout the evening. Um, we're going to talk about Nightdale now and get a sense from you about how you think Nightdale is doing as a community uh, in four main categories, the overall quality of life and amenities, your unique neighborhood needs, economic development and jobs, and growth roads and development. So we'll hear what you think about what's going on now, and then um, we'll spend most of the time doing that, um, and then we'll move on to thinking about Nightdale in the future. And, and we really value your input. The town council is trying to provide this future direction for the town. You know it's growing, and it's helpful to have a roadmap to determine what the future should be, and the council really wants to hear from the community um, in terms of what the community interests are. Is that really hard? <laughs> it worked once. There we go. Uh, so I already said this. We're, we're gathering input from you all. Um, and businesses, we, we had a couple meetings with town employees yesterday as well, and we're going to be using the results as information to feed in to the, um, the council's priorities. So we want everyone to participate fully. A lot of your discussion is going to be at your tables. Um, try and make sure not to dominate and make sure people are taking turns and listen to each other because part of what this is about is um, not everyone has the same interests and maybe you'll learn some new perspectives. Um, no idea or suggestion is a bad one, so don't, don't feel like you have to preface anything with, well, maybe this is a dumb idea, because it's not. It might give someone some good ideas. We want you to be open and honest, and we'd also like you to have some fun while you're here. Hopefully it will be an engaging evening. Um, so we are going to start. You all have clickers on your table, and now that we have extra people, let's take a few minutes to get everyone a clicker. Um, if you need a clicker, raise your hand. Thank you. <laughs> um, you can, and you are welcome to start answering if you already have a clicker. So uh, we want to just know a little bit about you all. If you live and work in Nightdale, you would press one. You, don't, you just need to press the number. You don't need to hit send or anything. If you work in Nightdale, press two. If you live in Nightdale, press three. And if you don't live or work in Nightdale, press four. Does anyone still need a clicker? So um, does everyone think they have pressed the button? The gentleman that just came in, <laughs> I'm going to ask you real quick. What, we've got 45. We were expecting less than 30 of you all. So <laughs> thank you again for coming. <laughs> 46. 47. We're going to run out of clickers in a second. All right. <laughs> So um, uh, we have our results should show up. So 76% of you live in Nightdale, 22% live and work, and 2%, that's probably one person, 
is a neither, we're okay, you're welcome here. <laughs> if you wanna tell us um, what your interest in Nightdale is, you're welcome to, but if you um, wanna rename, remain anonymous, that's okay too. But anyway, we wanted to make sure we had folks that are interested in Nightdale. Our next question, how long have you lived in Nightdale? Two years or less? So that would be one, one year and 11 months. Two to five years, you press two. Six to 10 years, you press three. Over 10 years, press four. And you guys are quick. 45 people have responded. 46. Did, does he? Um, we're going to let you join in right away and answer this question that's on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> so press the button on that clicker real quick and then we'll move on. <laughs> All right, we got 48 people in the room now. And so this is a great spread. 40% of you are pretty new, two years or less. Um, 29% have been here two to five years, 10% uh, six to 10 years, and 21% over 10 years. Who thinks they've been here the longest? Who wants to re? <laughs> How many years? 20, huh? 20 years? 45? <laughs> 35? All right. <laughs> Sorry, we don't have a prize for you, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty. We've got a tie. <laughs> All right. And now we want to know your age group. <laughs> Couple more people we're waiting on. Well, three of you haven't answered, but I'm going to move on. <laughs> if, you, if you click more than once, it takes your last answer. So you can vote as many times as you want, but it only takes your last answer. Yeah. <clears throat> So, so I know we have a few young people in the room. Thank you for coming. Thank you for mamas for bringing the young folks. Um, and then a few uh, 18 to 29 year olds, a good grouping of 30 to 45, 31%, 46 to 64 year olds, 42%, and 22% of you are mature adults. So thank you all for coming. All right. <laughs> um, so now that I think we've got a settled room, thank you to Alex and Councilman Swain for um, muscling through and getting chairs for everyone. So I'll, the folks of you that came in late, if you haven't had a chance to sign in, we'd encourage you to sign in. Um, uh, and if you, I think we caught everyone. If you didn't put a sticker on where you live, we'll ask you to do that before you leave where Alex is showing that. <laughs> Um, so we're going to talk, as I said at the beginning, about four main topics. And the first one, the four topics, quality of life and amenities, unique neighborhood needs, economic development and jobs, and growth roads and development. And we're going to ask you two questions, or we'll, we're going to ask you one question you're going to answer on the clicker, and then we're going to ask you at your tables to talk about your answers with your table mates. Um, when you think about overall quality of life and amenities, that's everything you think about generally about uh, Nightdale that doesn't fall into one of those other categories. It could be things like parks and recreation. It could be things like public safety. There's a lot of things that fall into it, how you generally feel about Nightdale. Um, so we're gonna start with that. And the question is, when you think about the overall quality of life in Nightdale, how would you rate it? Press one if it's exceeding your expectations, 
two, if it's meeting your expectations, and three, if it's below your expectations. Um, and for those of you that just came in, we've run out of clickers. We were expecting less than 30 people to show up. We thank you for being here, and we're going to get your input, just not on the clicking. Um, so we'll ask, um, we'll try and move the seats to have you join tables in a minute as well. Um, so our responses to this. 17% say the quality of life in Nightdale is exceeding your expectations. 77% say it's meeting your expectations. And 6% say it's below expectations. So you all define what your expectations are a little differently. It's a very broad category. We're going to ask you to now talk at your tables. And the, these instructions will stay up. Um, for those of you that think the quality of life are, is good. So I would say if you said it meets or exceeds expectations, then you think the quality of life is good. Talk at your table and tell your, um, your table mates why you said that. And what, I, what we're gonna ask you to do is somewhat, you're gonna take turns at your table taking notes on this table template, the paper. You've got Sharpies in front of you and paper. So who identify at your table who's sitting in front of the quality of life and amenities corner. <laughs> and um, let, let me finish the instructions first. So whoever's in, whoever's in front of the quality of life and amenities corner, you're going to take notes on this corner but we're gonna go through three other topics, so you're not gonna be forced to take notes the whole time. Um, so your first question is, if you rated it good, why? And there's a space on the outside of the target that you would jot your notes down in. The second question would be, if things are not so good, so you rated it below expectations, why? And then the third question that we want you to put in the center of the circle are your ideas What's the key issue that should be addressed to make Nightdale better in this area? You don't necessarily have to have a solution, but what's the issue? So if it's, you know, I, I, don't, th I don't feel safe, you don't have to say the answer is additional police officers. You could say safety is the issue. The town and the town council will need to understand and figure out how to address the issue, but we want the issue, not necessarily your solution. Are there any questions about what you're gonna be doing for the next 10 to 15 minutes? You'll have a conversation, probably about 10 minutes. Okay, go. <laughs>
Okay, I'm going to cut your conversations there. <clears throat> so, um, again, I'm just so impressed with you all. How many people came out and how lively your conversations are? You're, people care about Nightdale, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We, we do things like this all over the state, and we, we don't normally have this problem, so thank you all. Um, so if I cut you off and you really have something else you need to add in the overall quality of life category, we'll come back to it. And we're going to come back um, at the end and hear from all of you about some of the highlights that you're talking about. Um, so I want to emphasize again, if you've got your ideas, your good, your bad, your ideas, make sure you're writing it down because we're going to be typing up everything you said and the city council and the town staff are going to be seeing it. If you're having a good conversation and you didn't write it down, we're not going to know about it. So make sure you do that. Um, and, it, and if I cut you off and you want to go back to it when you were on the next category, I'm not going to stop you there either. So our next category is about unique neighborhood needs. And when we did this category, we were thinking you all have, you have downtown, you have retail districts, you have different neighborhoods. So think of all of the different neighborhoods throughout town, maybe your personal neighborhood, maybe, um, maybe it's downtown, old town, what, maybe it's, you know, by Target, you know, what are you thinking of? Um, are, is the town doing exceeding expectations when you're thinking about unique neighborhood needs throughout town? Those of you with a clicker, press one. Um, if it's meeting expectations across the unique neighborhood needs, press two. And if it's below, press three. Um, those of you without a clicker, <laughs> if you want to, um, you got one for your table. You're representing. <laughs> We're going to still capture your discussion. <laughs> if, uh, if when the results show up, it's dramatically different from what you're all expecting, um, we'll make a note of that, too. So we've got 36 answers. I've, I've got 48 clickers out there. <laughs> Forty-two, forty-three, forty-four. A couple more of you. <laughs> Forty-six. Going once. Going twice. Okay, we're gonna stop at 40, forty-seven. There we go. So we've got um, nine percent where the town's exceeding expectations. <laughs> 66% where the town is meeting expectations, and 26% where it's below expectations. So this is a little different than the quality of life. Quality of life was a little higher than meeting the unique neighborhood needs. Um, just because we, we have some new people, I'm gonna repeat the instructions. So some of you old timers now, you've been through one round, already know what we're doing. <laughs> um, so, and you only had one clicker representing your table. But for those of you that think things are good, in the outside of the circle, in the unique neighborhood needs corner, jot down, talk with each other, and jot down why. What are the reasons you think it's good? And that would be meeting or exceeding expectations. For those of you think that things are not so good, those of you that said we're not meeting expectations, why? What's, what's going on? Why aren't the expectations being met? And then in the middle, what are the key issues that need to be um, addressed in this area to make things better? So particularly if you see that the town's not meeting expectations, what could be done to make things better? So we're gonna again take about 10, 12 minutes to talk about this category.
if I could get everyone's attention. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> All right, thank you. Again, very good conversations going on. We're going to move on to the next topic. And the next topic is economic development and jobs. So, you know, when you, you all said whether you live or work here, most of you live here, not that many of you work here. Think about um, the jobs that might be good to have in town, businesses that might be good to have in town. The more businesses, the more tax base that um, businesses are paying, residents aren't paying. So economic development and jobs is an important topic. I um, want you to answer one, if you think the uh, town is exceeding expectations, two, meeting expectations, or three, below expectations. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me just, <clears throat> since we're recording it, just want to make sure that it, um, we can report out 4% voted exceeding expectations, 27% meeting expectations, and 69% below expectations. So this might be in an area of improvement. Um, we want you to go through the same exercise. You all are professionals at this now, so you've got three questions. What I want to emphasize again is write down your discussion, write down your key points. If you don't write it down, it's like it never happened. We're going to be summarizing this information for the staff and the council. We'll be summarizing and gleaning themes and priorities. So if it's not written down, if you just had a really good conversation with your, your friends at your table, then we won't know it. So be sure whoever's in the economic development corner of your table, take some notes. Um, so with that, uh, go to the conversation. So we're going to move on to our next topic, and that's growth, roads, and development. So I think everyone knows what roads means, although I, I would add it doesn't just have to be for cars. It could be pedestrians and bicycles, too. Growth, we're really talking about the land, how big Nightdale's growing, where new buildings might be going in, whether it's apartments or um, businesses and development is all in the same category. So how is Nightdale growing? Um, is it exceeding your expectations, press one, meeting your expectations, press two, below expectations, press three? Oh. <laughs> 
so when we introduced the meeting, we said we know Nightdale's a growing town, and that's part of the reason we're doing strategic planning. Um, so 0% said exceeding expectations, 36% meeting expectations, and 64% below expectations. So maybe you're having some growing pains right now. Um, <laughs> so same, same deal, whoever's got the growth, uh, growth roads and development corner, you are now note taker. Please remember to write. Um, and we've got the three questions for you. Start, well, no, well, s even if it's meeting expectations, that's good. <clears throat> why are, answer why it's good, why it's not good, and what are the key issues. So you've got about 10 minutes to go through this category. Um, I know you're all having good conversations, and I hope you're all writing it down. Um, so what we want you to do now, you wrote a lot of stuff down, you shared a lot of ideas. We want you to look at everything you talked about and pick the three most important things total. Not three per category, three total. Tara's giving you um, some large post-it notes. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. If I could get your attention, please. Hello. <laughs> Hello. So um, each table, each table is getting a set of post-it notes. Each table is going to pick three things. It's not three things per person. It's not three things per category. So you're going to talk to each other and pick three things. You're going to write one of your three things on each post-it note. So you're going to end up with three post-it notes. And then when you're done, you're going to share with the whole group what your three most important things are. And we're going to post those up on the wall. Does anyone have questions about the instructions? It could come from the ideas. It could come from anywhere. Um, so maybe, maybe you said there was one table that said we should have a pedestrian overpass over business 64. Was that your table? Um, and maybe that's something that's an idea. Maybe that's something that's bad. Maybe that's your most important. It doesn't matter. Any other questions about the instructions? Okay, so you're picking three ideas. I'm going to have you read them out. <laughs> not yet, not yet. 
Okay, I know, I know two tables need a little more time, but we're going to cut it off. <laughs> so, um, if I could get everyone's attention, not yet. Uh, so, so the table that was ready to go, we're going to ask you to tell us your three things. Your first one is more nice restaurants. And Alex has the microphone, so it's this table right up here. Uh, we are uh, happy to be here tonight, and we want to thank uh, <laughs> these folks who really have run a terrific meeting. I hope we all agree. <laughs> I, I'm sort of stretching things out. We're working on our third okay, one. Okay, we can we can go to uh, another <clears throat> table. <laughs> we all. <laughs> <laughs> but we we are we are a foodie restaurant, and we want something better than fast food. Uh, we we live in a relatively some of us live in a relatively new community, and we want uh, the town of Nightdale to rein in the developers. Uh, so he's got that up there as governance of developers. Yeah. Uh, we, we, what we hope they will do is take into consideration the needs of specific neighborhoods. In our neighborhood, we've got drainage issues. Almost everybody has drainage issues in Nightdale Station. Uh, and it could have been avoided with a little more thought. We also have three different builders, and if they were willing to cooperate more, rather than, not my job, we think our neighborhood would be better. We have great neighbors. We need better developer builder cooperation and, and planning. And your uh, third. Alex, by the way, has uh, everybody's got his number on speed dial <laughs> because this man can get it done. So. <laughs> um, we also, not only are we foodies, uh, but we like to, we get down, we rock. So we want more things going on in the park. Uh, but not just adult activities, but things for children. And, and my personal interest is in teens, we don't have any, but I think teens are often the, we take good care of them up till they're 12, 13, and then after the 20, but we need to work on our kids. We need to make ways and things for our young people to do uh, year round, not just in the summer. Thank you. You okay. don't have to make a speech if you would. Good, want to. thank you. <laughs> I'm just gonna read them all. Uh -huh. So the first thing is is to retain the small town feel. Retain the small town feel. Yeah, that's why we're here. Um, secondly, we're an active community, meaning with the Greenway and such there, but um, outside of that, we need more sidewalks and we need more bike paths for us to use. <laughs> and also, also the roads, you know, we're t we've talked about development for that as well with the ongoing growth. Great. Yep. And the third one would be adult activity. Um, more high-end restaurants, not so much fast food. Um, more things to do if you're over 18. Um. <laughs> what did she say? So, those kinds of things. So, fine dining. Thank you. That's four, five, six, and seven. <laughs> you, guys, you ready? Uh, hello. <laughs> Um, so we're going to second the old continuous sidewalks and bike lanes recommendation. Right. Um, yeah, yeah. Yay for not getting hit by a car. Um, also, we're going to second more community gatherings, not just separate subdivision events. Like, we'd like to know the others in our town of Nightdale, because I didn't know any of y'all. I still don't know many of y'all, but uh, <laughs> my table's great, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, 
And third, um, business incubators. For those of you like myself who didn't know what a business incubator was, it's in order. It's a you can tell them, but it's it's it, it helps establish local businesses, which is something we feel is lacking as far as like that skew about. Uh, many of us are commuters um, because the the jobs available are. You know, it'd be cool if there was some local ones. Okay. Great. Thank you. Yeah. And if you have questions about incubators, ask this gentleman because he knows all of the answers. You guys ready? <laughs> so um, ours is along the line of everyone else's. Of everyone else's. Um, number one is better transportation options. We're saying a bike trail, be it pedestrian trail, whatever it may be. Number two, um, better options in retail, hospitality, entertainment, and professional non-service jobs, employment, businesses. We encompassed everything. <laughs> Great. And then number three, um, expansion of Nightdale to other areas so there's less congestion. Um, we, we're saying to widen the territory because everything is just sitting there right in 64, right in one spot. Yeah. So, so when you say widen the territory, it's still within Nightdale, within just Nightdale, not all concentrated. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Yes. Yeah, there's a lot of hard stuff to add up work and belong to other people, but you know everything is on 64, so everything is congested. Right yeah. Now. Yeah. So it's a less congestion. So spread out beyond 64. Yeah. Great. Thank you. This table over here. You guys ready? I also wanted to take an opportunity to commend the team, Julie, Tara, Alex, all of you, thank you for taking the time to do this with us tonight. A lot of great energy in the room. Um, we've got a lot of common themes already expressed. We also uh, saw a, a need for a comprehensive plan for transportation connectivity via bicycle and pedestrian walkways. Um, that's already been talked about. Uh, we also see a strong need for professional co-working space for entrepreneurs and local businesses. Um, so that's a, a common theme as well. Um, our table also expressed a lot of desire for attracting developers of affordable and inclusive mid-range housing. Um, so that's another big thing. Great. Thank you. You want to pass the mic to the next table? Okay, well, we're a wordy group. <laughs> um, so we, we're we talking about the topic of traffic, that we need better traffic control, so widening the road, giving, sinking the lights, other transit options, public transportation, um, and then everybody loves the um, big dump trucks that drive down Nightdale Boulevard. It'd be nice if there was some way to make them go someplace else. <laughs> <laughs> So then, if we if we could all pay attention. So then we were talking about public spaces, and um, we have some really great parks. We have one really great park, but we need to disperse parks so that there are more park amenities across the community. And then connect, connecting the community assets via greenways, because we all have we all live in different neighborhoods that don't necessarily connect in any way other than to get back on Nightdale Boulevard. And then we need some multi-generational activities that can happen in those public spaces. Great, okay, thank you. <laughs> and then on the business and retail topic, we want more diversity of different kinds of businesses, and especially those that are locally owned, and a strategic plan to attract more businesses that meet the community needs. And then um, updates on developments that have been happening, such as with Parkstone. Great, thank you. Good evening. Our group came up with more non-chain restaurants, improved track out camp options. Um, for example, upgrading the playground, upgrading the community uh, pool house, in a better location. Great. And finally, uh, road widening, particularly uh, First Avenue and Smithfield Road. <laughs> and 
to sync traffic lights <laughs> on Nightdale Boulevard. Very nice. Near Thank the sheets. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay. <laughs> um, so we definitely said better food. I feel like we all came in here like, please, someone give us a different <laughs> something. And under, oh, and under that, we put uh, finer dining, better grocery stores. Uh, can I get a Publix? Healthier restaurants and like overall less fast food. So we got some more choices there. Um, and then education, um, maybe some satellite college classes to make Wake Tech, for instance, a little more accessible. Um, <laughs> Better school buildings for our existing public schools and, and better quality instruction. If there are some of these schools that are still facing um, a lot of kind of socioeconomic disparity, I think that we need to find ways as a community to address that. So we can't have one shiny school and then the rest are meh. That's not really fair to the, the kids growing up in this community. Um, and then we said a rec center would be great, like a standalone, has a pool that's accessible, doesn't cost a fortune, um, that there could be some community programs in there that would make exercise classes and things like that more accessible. And seniors, I'm sorry, senior programs, that's actually what I wrote first. So, uh, okay. Well, there's certainly a lot of commonalities in what we heard and a lot of great ideas. We're, we're not done. You, you signed up to be here till nine, so we're gonna keep you. Uh, um, uh, so before I give you your next exercise, when, when you leave tonight, we're gonna move this poster because we're gonna use something behind here later, but we're gonna give you a sticker again, a dot, and we're gonna ask you to dot what you think is most important on your way out. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna tell you to do that. Um, and it's gonna be probably out, out in the hall. Um, so we're not gonna do that now. We've got a different exercise for you right now. Um, and that, so I told you we've been spending a lot of time thinking about Nightdale now. We want you to think about Nightdale 10 years from now. A couple of you have asked, oh, what's the timeline for a strategic plan? It's usually looking five to 10 years out. What is it that you want to create in Nightdale? Um, could you go ahead and start passing those out? <laughs> um, what is it that you want to create in Nightdale? What's the vision? So all of this input, you obviously um, can't do absolutely everything that you have up here. Uh, right away, it takes time. But if you know the direction is that you want wider roads and you want more non-chain restaurants, then you can start setting that direction. So um, you're each getting a worksheet and we want you to <clears throat> write a story. Um, what's your headline for what you hope the town of Nightdale will be like in 10 years? Imagine you're writing a newspaper headline and then Put three details, there's three bullet points, so three details that describe your headline. Um, so if anyone needs a pen to do this, let us know and we'll pull out some more pens. But your instructions are to write a headline and three details. At your table, um, share your headline with each other. 
We're going to just take five minutes to do that and see if you hear some common themes about what Nightdale looks like in 10 years. So you can go ahead and start talking. I haven't had to tell you that before. <laughs> We're going to come back to the full group. <laughs> so I know you didn't have a lot of time to share. We will be, we will be recording everything that you wrote on these. Um, but we want to hear a few big themes. If you notice some themes common at your table. And this table had two almost identical headlines. So maybe we'll start with that. Uh, small, time com small town community feel with big town amenities. So small town feel with big town amenities. You got that too? <laughs> anyone, uh, anyone else want to volunteer some themes of what you're envisioning 10 years from now? Green living. <laughs> other, um, other themes? Yes, ma'am. Best place for small businesses. <laughs> A balance between prosperity and quality of life. Are you with me, Tara? Do I need to slow down? <laughs> OK, balance between prosperity and quality of life. What else? I don't know, if someone said it more eloquently, please say it. Like community. Yeah. Yeah, vibrant community, lively. Especially where we're meeting more people than we live with. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Instead of being like the place to live this year, Raleigh. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you're not just, just a suburb of Raleigh, but you're a, a destination, a place to be. What's that? More br <laughs> You've got log hosts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, branding of Light Nightdale will have community pride. What are some other themes? Well, I was just going to add to that. You know, there's a television campaign that's on right now about Virginia Beach. You know, the mayor of Virginia Beach is out there saying, you know, what was it, come to, come to the beach or something like this? Don't even go to the beach. Just go to the town or the city of Virginia Beach. She don't care if you go to the beach, put your toes in the sand. She just wants you to come and spend your money at their merchants and things like that. So it's, it's just uh, advertising ploy that they're advertising all the way down here for Virginia Beach. Yeah. Get out there and, and let it be known. Nightdale's great. So <laughs> <laughs> so we want want people to come to um, come to Nightdale. What uh, other other themes from? I had intergenerational living and interconnected. So I don't know if we could just make it a connected community where we are um, connected with each other and connected with roads. Yeah. So connected community, roads, generations. Probably sidewalks too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what else? Mixed use developments. Yeah, so that fits with the connected community and the um, green, what was it, green living? Um, high quality food and fun. <laughs> high quality food and fun, yeah. Food was definitely a theme earlier. <laughs> we, we, we've got votes for Wegmans and Publix. <laughs> other, um, other themes you want to highlight? Best place to raise a family, three years in a row. <laughs> yeah. Other, um, other big, big ideas you want to share for your vision for 10 years from now?
Yeah. So with the best place to raise a family, it's that sense of home for all age families. Are we missing any big ideas for our vision for the future? Yeah, a lot of activities. <laughs> you want to say yours? Nightdale Relax Lounge. Nightdale Relax Lounge. Very nice. <laughs> so I, I, I think that's a lot of good activities to do, a lot of fun things, but it's not a stressful place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anybody else? Okay. Well, we are going to get you get you wrapped up here. Um, so, huge thanks to all of you for participating and participating so actively on a Wednesday evening. And I guess there's no Hurricanes fans here because uh, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Are you getting updates on the score? <laughs> um, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, well, anyway, thank you for participating. As you leave, we're going to ask you to take one dot, and the poster is out in the lobby, oh, yeah. in the hall hallway, and um, put a dot on what you think is the most important um, issue. Remember that you put up on those big post-it notes. So one dot, pick, pick your top issue. Um, please be sure, do not take these clickers. They're not going to work for anything for you at home. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, it, hopefully you signed in on a sign-up sheet and the town will keep you informed about what's going on. Um, they, they, I don't think they're going to blast you with a ton of emails. It's just a little bit of information. Um, but really, thank you for participating. Hopefully you met some new friends. And um, enjoy your evening. Drive safely.